Next, I want to talk a little bit about the negation of a statement. We've used negations a bit. This is using not for a statement. But if it's a compound statement, these things get a little bit more complicated than, you might, than just De Morgan's laws. Remember, negation of a statement, which I'm just going to call S for reference, is the statement you need to prove demonstrate that S is false. So for example, if someone makes the claim all cars are red. Well, that's that's clearly not correct because you get the negation the statement you would need to prove to disprove their claim. It's simply some car, not even all cars, just one car, not red. Or in fancier terms, there exists a not red car. Now this proof would be something along the lines of, hey, look at that blue car. That's not red. You're wrong. That's how a negation of the statement works. To prove something that says all, you need to have one counterexample. So on your pretest, there is a statement. Every triangle has an angle sum. of less than 180 degrees. The negation, the way to prove this statement wrong, is simply there exists a triangle angle sum at least 180 degrees. You change the every into a there exists, and the less than into at least. Remember, at least is greater than or equal to. For a if-then statement, a conditional statement, the process gets a little weird because you'd expect there to still be an if-then in negation. That's not the case. Meeting Remember, statement if P and Q, if that whole thing is true, if then as a whole is true, and whenever P is true, Q is necessarily true as well. To negate it, when you prove that P does not necessarily imply Q, the P is true. But Q doesn't have to be true. Find some instance where P is true, but Q is not. So for the example that we've been using, the example in the pretest, if 2x plus 1 equals 5, and x equals 2, 4, 3, the negation. The 2x plus 1 equals 5, and negation of x equals 2, 3, which is by, by De Morgan's laws, the way you would normally write the statement would be 2x plus 1 equals 5, and x is not 2, and Sometimes I'll have claim, or I'll ask you to prove a claim, and if then claim is false. In which case, 
you need to find something that makes p true but q false. And that's how you negate. That's how you negate if then 